Uh, in case we know only JavaScript basic, what do you recommend to learn step by step after JavaScript? What you suggest first to learn? Uh, so Mohammed is asking, you know, in case you only know JavaScript basics. So if you only know the JavaScript basics, so this is the program fundamentals. So these are things like control structures, uh, control flow, um, repeating statements, functions, like recursive calls. So you would start off like the programming fundamentals. Okay, so just you just have to know that. I'm, I'm guessing that you do know that. And then next up to that is object-oriented programming. So this is um, being able to use classes, interfaces, all that fun jazz. So if you know that much, then the next one after that is going to be algorithms and data structures. So these are uh, actually going out there and look, learning about bubble sort, uh, different types of algorithm binary, uh, all, of, all of those fun algorithms. And then after that, you want to go probably do like some sort of discrete math. So discrete structures, you want to go ahead and look into that. Then after that, you want to probably do some low level stuff. So like C or C++ and then even or even machine code. Um, now after that, I mean, it gets it just goes on and on and on and on. But ultimately, like, I don't know why you're asking this question. But the question you're probably asking here is, you know, what do you do once you once you learn the basics? Well, what's next? What's the next path after learning the basics? More than likely, you want to get paid. And I talked about this extensively in, in different bunch of different calls. Um, if you've been here on, on a Facebook Live or on a YouTube Live, uh, you, more than likely you already uh, are aware that this, that's like the number one thing that I promote for everybody else out there is to get started uh, getting paid for your efforts because that's the only way you're going to be able to sustain the enough stamina for you to be able to keep going and keep learning and keep investing and keep buying books and keep doing all the things that you're doing is if you are constantly investing in yourself. So that's the first thing that I like to tell everybody is that as soon as you've got the programming fundamentals down, as soon as you can write some sort of program, uh, you can go ahead and start looking for work. Now, this work that you're going to be finding, it's not going to be the most amazing work. It's not going to be the most fun thing. It's not going to be like, oh, my God, this is the best job in the world. No, it's going to be awful. It's going to be dreadful. You're going to suck. People are going to complain. And, you know, it, it is what it is. You are a new person. You have to go out there and make the effort to get better. And the only way you can get better is if you invest back into yourself and the way you can invest back to yourself is if you start earning money by actually doing the thing uh, so the example i like to give is um you know if you wanted to learn how to sing or if you wanted to learn how to act or if you wanted to learn how to write uh you want you would want to start and start singing a song as fast as possible you want to get that feedback from the people that are going to be enjoying the things you're going to be creating the songs you're going to be writing whatever it might be and the fastest way for you to do that is if you actually get paid for it so that's, that's the number one reason I would uh, go ahead and recommend you to do is once you actually get the fundamentals done, down, then go ahead and start um, digging into how you can actually start getting paid based on those skills. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe, you click the little bell, you double tap the like button, and leave me a comment below. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, double tap that heart, give me a comment. Uh, I want to go ahead and get some feedback from you guys.